Hello and welcome everyone. This is Type V3 with a robot Damashi review of the Quaidloon Rare, specifically the Clan Clan custom that appeared in Macross Frontier. Despite coming off striking at first glance, the Quaidloon Rare is actually very basic in design. In fact, because there's such few intricate details, none of this toy's general look gets compromised in its small 5-inch stature. It's mostly just curved edges and smooth surfaces. Proportions are solid, match up well with the line art, and the colors are vibrant. I also like how the toy carries both flat and glossy finishes, giving it a slight hint of contrast. Of the few paint apps that exist, the majority were applied without fault. However, if I had one complaint against this figure, it's that I think it could have used more premium paint. Silver finishes for both the chest vents and back thrusters, along with some minor black lining could have gone a long way to make this toy stand out. As it is, overall presentation is still quite good, but it won't let you forget that it belongs to one of Bandai's lower end toy lines. For articulation, the head can't actually move at all. It's just kind of, kind of just stationary there. The shoulders themselves are on a universal joint that's connected on a ball joint on the inside of the shoulder which goes around and out. It has a pretty good decent range and I like how this shoulder cap here it, uh, it doesn't swing out, it's just more hanging there, and it, it tends to keep itself looking alright in most poses. The arm has a bicep swivel. There's a double jointed elbow, but you can see that the two joints are really far away from each other, but they still get a pretty good range. As for the wrists themselves, these can swivel ever so slightly, but they're not really going to change anything for you. The legs themselves are on double-ended ball joints, so there's pretty good range of motion everywhere. There is no dedicated thigh swivel, so you're going to have to rely a lot on the waist joint here to help you out. There is a single-jointed knee, which gets you about 90 degrees, and then there's a double-ended ball joint for the ankle. Finally, the Q-Rare's gun can go up and down on this sliding rail, and of course it can swivel so that you can aim it wherever you want. And if you really need to, you can just pull it off. The Q-Rare's articulation does exactly what it needs to. Nothing more, nothing less. The odd proportions of the mecha serve as the main limiting factor, and even if there were more range in the joints, I don't think the toy would be much better served for it. On to features and accessories, and there isn't much to the Quaidloon Rare. First up are the missile pods. The shoulder ones slide open while the knee covers need to be replaced entirely. The gimmick itself is fine. The real disappointment comes from the bland, unpainted missiles themselves. If there was one area of this toy that could have used extra paint, it would be here. Because of this, my figure will most likely be displayed with the missile bays closed. The only other feature, and arguably the better of the two, is the three-door opening cockpit which reveals Clan Clang herself. The pilot is decently painted, though as a common pattern with this toy, the interior of the cockpit is rather bland. Again, a few highlights here and there would have gone a long way. Still, opening cockpits are one of my favorite features on a toy, and I greatly appreciate its inclusion on this small figure. The robot Damashi Quaidloon Rare was originally released in 2009, back when the toy line was first finding its feet. Releases in the same time period had their share of problems and I expected nothing less of the Q-Rare. Yet, through its sheer simplicity, there wasn't much that could have gone wrong with this toy. And it shows, it's a finely balanced action figure. Ignoring some general presentation issues, there's not much else I can fault this toy for. Now, it's not a blow your socks off experience either, and at $30, other releases have been able to fill out that budget much more wisely. But if you're a Macross fan, or the design intrigues you, or just happen to stumble upon a really good sale, then I encourage you to check it out. The Robot Damashi Q Rare is a solid toy from top to bottom. But that's all for me. Thanks for watching, and although I've started my Macross coverage a bit small, I think I'll tackle something a little larger when we return.